Hallelujah to Jesus. <clears throat> we give God a praise. Let God be praised forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory, Abba Father. Glory, Shadow of days. Glory, Shadow of days. You might be wondering, why are people from your past, why are they obsessed with you? Yes. Their level of obsession towards you be turned to hatred. It is okay to have people in our past. Every one of us, we have people in our past. Exactly. You have been to pre KG, you have been to secondary school, you have been to primary school, you have been to the high institution, whatever it's called in your nation, you have been to academic, what is it called, university and all of that. You have been to master, there are people, you have been to nursing, you have been to whatever it is that you have been to. In the process of life, you people come into your life, they walk into your life, some came and they stay till now. And some, some past and some just walk and they passed. Hallelujah. When I mean past, I'm not saying that they are dead. Like they are past, they are, they are like in the past tense now of your life. They are not in the present of your life. And this, some of these people, even if you are not the one that passed through education process, you must have passed through something. You must have passed through families, community, neighborhood, jobs, and all of that, offices before you get to where you are right now in the so every one of us we have people from our past we have that example of people from our past it is okay to have people to remember like ah we have these people in our past but what is not okay it is when those from our past know that they are for us they want to make sure they they, they ruin our destiny People have past marriages, they have past relationships, they have past friends, they have past bosses, they have past whatever, teachers, pastors, men of God, women of God, even satanic people. They have past, as in, they have some satanic people who are not in their past, you know. So many people have even involved themselves with witches without knowing it. And when they realize those ones are not in their past, so everyone in this life as a child of God has people from their past you might be asking yourself this is a message to somebody who people from your past are seriously obsessed with you and this obsession can become have turned into something that turned to jealousy excuse me that turned to hatred hallelujah that turned to different kinds of things you are asking yourself, why are they obsessed with me? Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Situation happen that some are supposed to go away. They just go away quietly. No argument, no pain, nothing, nothing. You know, everybody just go on their own. But suddenly there are some who never really walk away. You are not in their life, they are not in your life, but they have every reason to develop this obsession of following you, of trying to know everything about you, to make sure that you cannot move past the level you were when you were with them. You might ask yourself, why are they not leaving? They are in the past. Let them remain in the past. Because I told us in this ministry, God is not longer interested in your past because your past, if there were sin, if there were mistake, you have asked for mercy of God and God has forgiven. And this your present that you are is what God is interested in. And your future is what God is interested in. He's going to correct your present so that you will walk into a future that have no errors. Errors that can bring somebody's down. You understand? He will guide your step. He is interested in your present. Whatsoever happened in the past, remain in the past. It becomes a memory. It becomes a story. It becomes something, you know, that you remember 
You use it to remember how God saved you or how God used it to bless you. Past can only be a good memory or a bad memory. But the memory are there. You no longer live in it, in that past. Hallelujah. The people from your past... You are wondering why they are obsessed. And I hear this all so strongly. Because they know in all of their journey, they have realized that you are a rare breed. Something that is very different from what they have ever encountered. Something that is very different from what they have ever met. Hallelujah. Child of God, hear me very well. You are not like every other person that they have met in their past. That is why it is hard for them to let you go. But... Not letting you go and not willing to understand or work with you, that is where the error is. If somebody treasure you too much and want to be in your life, they should be in your life in a clean way, in a supportive way, in a way that everything will be okay. Because their obsession towards you, it is a way that they don't want you to be better than them. Because in that past, they felt that every one of them would be better than you. Have you seen children like that who give testimony when they become adults? Like when they were in school, they were being bullied. People would bully them. They would say they are, no, they are nobody. Their family is not worthy. This. They would bully the children. But suddenly, those children will become the ones that grow up to become big men, big women. You see? And they will not be talking about how that bullies was their experience they will not be sharing but you will not hear from any of those bully anymore they have gone silence god have lifted the one they bully above them that is your situation god has lifted you above them that is their obsession towards you you must know that despite the fact that you have encountered all that bully, bullying all of that from your past they were not the god that would determine how your present situation will look like child of god whether they like it or not their obsession towards you it might be dangerous but god will keep delivering you it is well with you jesus love you and i love you with the love of christ i remain your sister evangelist Sarah. by the grace of god i will see you again bye bye